If you enjoy Work It, please consider visiting spookymag.com forward slash subscribe to support the show. Come on, you know we're good for it. Welcome to Work It, a show about work. This is a work of satire containing mature themes. Pour le service en français, appuyez sur le 1. For writer and performer Sam Alamang, please press 2. For writer and performer Janet Mowat, please press 3. For a measured and insightful discussion of this option is unavailable. For a comedic look at the gig economy, which is mostly a big dog pile on Uber if I'm honest, please stay on the line. Welcome to episode 35 of Work It, where we're talking all about the gig economy. Hey, I've got a great idea. No, really, this is a really good one. What about if Quagmire invented an economy and it could be called the giggity giggity economy? Like how he says giggity giggity, but then it's plus gig economy? Like that economy, which is the one which is our topic today? So sit back and enjoy the following episode of Family Guy. Now in its 19th season on Fox WUTV, featuring Brian. Now it's time for Work It's interview segment. Since we're discussing the exploitation of precarious workers today, we figured who better to talk to than Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi. But he was busy. So we went with Uber's underperforming doppelganger, Lyft. The miracles of capitalist innovation. Yes, Janet and I are joined in studio by Lyft co-founders John Zimmer and Logan Green. Welcome both. I'm so excited I could reach down my own throat and rip my still beating heart out. There's no way you will survive. Oh yeah. Can I do it to you then, Zimmer? Save it for after the interview, Janet. Logan Green, let's talk about California's Proposition 22, which you fought very hard to get passed. This bill allows you to continue underpaying and overworking your drivers. Doesn't that make you feel bad? It's actually a fundamental part of our strategy. Your strategy is to create a miserable work environment for, what, a few of your drivers? Every single driver. My mistake, Zimmer. So then Lyft is exploiting and crushing the dreams of all your drivers? I believe so. Tens of thousands of drivers across the country. Thanks for clarifying, LG. So what is your worst nightmare? What do you dread the most in terms of your employee's work experience? Picking one career, one employer, and staying in a job for the next 30 years and retiring on a, on a pension plan. Okay, so your worst nightmare is for your employees to have job stability, be content enough to stay with one company through their careers, and be able to retire comfortably. Sam, can I rip their hearts out now? Soon, Janet, soon. John Zimmer, what do you want for your employees? No salary for many years. Your ultimate dream is not to pay your workers at all. Have you found a way to do that yet? Lyft has not yet solved that and made it easy. Well, Prop 22 was an important first step for you there. But what's next for Lyft, Zimmer? Now uh, we're on offense. What, you'll find a new brazen action against the well-being of your workers? That's not one action, that's a collection of actions. What other actions are you looking at? Requiring your workers to swear an oath of fealty to Lyft? Claiming their firstborn children as a tithe? Surely you're not forcing them to worship you as God, Zimmer. Surely not that. Yes. Is that allowed? I think that you can do that. Huh. Okay, last question for you both. We've talked a lot about your workers, but what have you always wanted for yourselves? John Zimmer? I wanted to be a magician. Now see, why couldn't you have stuck with something so benign and doomed to fail? What about you, Logan Green? What have you always wanted for yourself? Going deep. Wait, are you saying you've never... You know, gone deep with anyone. It's true. So all you want is to go deep. Twice a day, every day. (laughs) I'm going to roll. I think that you can do that. Wait, I can do that? Or Janet? Or or both of us? Twice Twice a day, day, every day. day. No! No! Well? I wanted to be a magician. We heard you the first time, Zimmer. Anyway, that's all we have time for today. Thanks, John Zimmer and Logan Green, for being just absolute abominations with us today. Just garbage, miserable people. Truly, you're both an insult to humanity. Janet, if you could do the heart-ripping-out thingy? Oh, sure. Open your mouths nice and wide, boys. Janet wins. Fatality. 
Where are they now? Are you caught up with the Kardashians? Do you thrive on Real Housewives? Uh... Good joke, huh? Cause it rhymes, see? Yep, I'm a comedy master. Oh, you f Well, Celeb Heads, Work It Presents, where are they now? We caught up with some former celebrities who've had to take jobs in the gig economy. Like regular working stiffs. Ugh, gross! Robin Yount was a three-time All-Star in his 20-year career with the Milwaukee Brewers. How times have changed. Now, Robin can be hired on TaskRabbit to do pest control. Baseball bat and all. Robin, you were a Major League Baseball star. Now you hit mice with a bat. How's that feel? I can't do the same thing over and over again or I get bored. Good for you. The uniform still fits. Love that baby blue. Next up, Dabney Coleman had a hugely successful career as an actor in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Drexel's class, anyone? Nowadays, Dabney can be found driving for Uber. Hi, Dabney Coleman. I'm going to the Westdale Mall to hang out with some teens. Oh, get out of the car. Are you trying to get me out of the car? Don't want to take me to the mall, is that it? Check the right rear tire, it's low. No, it isn't, Dabney. Hang on. Don't tell me you're scared of the Westdale Mall teens. They just smoke cigarettes and wear leather jackets. They're really not that bad. It's low, get out! Oh, fine, I'll check, but we're going straight to the mall after that. <laughs> They're only teens, Dabney! Teens! What's the matter, Janet? Old man Coleman didn't fall for it, eh? Not this time, teen. More of a wise guy than we figured. We'll get him yet. Dabney Coleman ain't seen the last of us teens. And that's Where Are They Now? If you're interested in celebrities besides Robin Yount and Dabney Coleman, tune in next week. <laughs> Correction, next week will also be about Robin Yount and Dabney Coleman. See you then! Coming this winter to CHAM Cham Radio. A peaceful day at the Westdale Bank. But what's this? Okay, everyone, this is a robbery. Stick em up! <gasps> oh, no. This looks like a job for... Psst! Dorothy, do you have that superhero app on your phone? Ubermensch? Uh, yeah. Mmm, Kate, okay, he's two blocks away. Oh, jeez. A job for... What's the hold up, you guys? Hand over the cash! Oh, sure, yeah. I'm right on it. Where? It's around here somewhere. This is a job for... Psst! How long till he gets here? Uh, ten seconds? Okay, here I go. Putting cash into this sack. One dollar, two dollars. Get a move on! Not so fast, robber. Yes, at last, it's the gig man. Yeah, no kidding, there goes his tip, eh? Aw oh, man, it's rush hour. Gig man, quick, he's getting away. Stop right there, robber. Hiya! Laser <laughs> kick! Thermal punch! Ow! Ow! Quit it! You haven't seen the last of me, Gigman! Thank you, Gigman! My pleasure. But, uh, about that tip. Eh, oh, fine. Tip him a buck, Dorothy. Uh, don't use the app. The company keeps our tips. That's on the DL between you and me. Yes, wherever evil lurks, wherever Wi Fi is available. Gigman will be there to save the day. For astonishingly little pay. Okay, okay. Here's one dollar. Two dollars. Three dollars. And now a scene from the world of music, where not all gigs are created equally. All right, guys, take it from the top. Why bother, Brody? We're never gonna make it. Come on, Chaz. That's why we hired a manager, remember? So Cherry Crush can finally get our big break. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, where is that guy? 
Boys, I got you a gig. Step outside and I'll explain. All right, awesome. Told you, man. Rock and roll. So what you do is, when you get a notification on your phone here, you go, you pick that person up, and you drop them off where they're going. That's great, Sal, but when do we get to the gig part? Bring on the arenas. And the chicks. All right. This is the gig. Aw, oh, man. Look, fellas, you gotta start somewhere, right? right? Right. And record sales ain't what they used to be, right? Right. right. This is the gig economy, and in this economy, Cherry crushes on Uber. But, 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 what about our fans? Well, in this scenario, you could say, uh, your passengers are your fans. Oh, I tried to tell you, Brody, we're washed up. No, we're not. This could still work. Our first fan. Chaz, follow my lead. Hello, passenger. Uh, hi, Westdale Mall, please, and hurry, I'm late for work. And here we go! Hey, watch the road! You just blew through that red light, what are you doing? Look out! Big long legs and shaking hips. Did you just say big long legs and shaking hips? Um, that's inappropriate. No, I don't really want to dance with you, are you crazy? Get me to work now, watch out for the truck! And here we are, Westdale Mall. Way to go, boys. I knew you'd make the most of your big gig. Thanks, Sal. You're all right. Yes, I am. Hit it. Welcome back to Planet Office. We join a plucky little freelancer preparing to begin her day of writing. She pours a coffee and settles in. Okay, what's our content for today? 86 things to do in Burlington. You won't believe number 49. Cool, okay, I can write that. A busy day is in store for this artiste. Where will she begin? Hmm. Perhaps by starting her computer. Oh. Here we go. 86 things to do in Burlington. Number one, look at the lake. Number two, um, go to the mall. They probably have a mall, right? Number three, hmm, three, 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 eight, three. Our freelancer proceeds cautiously through her work. Number three. Get out of Burlington. Is that funny? Sounds funny. How many words is that? 17, including numbers? Okay. A good start. Now I just need to focus. Our freelancer summons a burst of energy and... What on earth? Look, I can't focus till this carpet's clean. Oh, come now. I'll get right back to it, but I can't write at this desk. Just need to build a new one. Honestly. Just gonna knock this wall down real quick, open up some space for my thoughts. What is wrong with you? Just do your work. Um, I thought you weren't supposed to interfere with your documentary subjects, Mr. Narrator. First, it's Sir Narrator, okay? And second, I have an ethical obligation to interfere when you suck this bad. Sit down at your desk, you malingerer. Give it no! Thermal punch! Stop it. I'll get to it! Laser kick. And now for bulletins from the CFMU news desk. First, the headlines. Spelling bee moment warms the heart as orphan asked to spell family. Mayor completes coloring book. A Westdale man spent last month living on a landfill to raise awareness. For more on that, here's me. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. And what are you raising awareness for? I don't know. Voter fraud? No. Cancer? How's cancer? No. Garbage? And now to weather or not. 
High chance of rain today. Or not. But sunny skies ahead tomorrow. Or not. That's been weather or not. In sports news, the Westdale Mischief Makers, the city's professional prank team, rose to the top of the NPL standings with another elite performance on the road this weekend. That's right, Janet. Starting center prankster Jim Hackintosh had this to say. We knew if we could just come into town with the swagger we know we're capable of, we'd get a big two points. And tell us about that first play. Well, we replaced their stadium with a really big whoopee cushion. And what happened? It sounded like a big fart. And we're wishing our hometown team the best of luck in the pranking quarterfinals. Now, back to work it. Jam. And now, the ads. Have you ever hired someone to do freelance work, but then, when they show up, they don't know the first thing about knocking wicked Prince Sigmund from his black steed and winning honor for your maiden? Has this ever happened to you? Well, no more, with Sir Gildersleeve's free lance service. That's right, for no fee whatsoever, I, Sir Gildersleeve of Bonn, will ply my lance in defense of justice and courtly manners. Dragon ravaging the countryside? I'm your free lancer. Local warlock spreading plague? He'll taste my lance, my free lance. But Sir Gildersleeve, how do you make money offering free lance service? That's a great question. I'm... I'm not sure. Open to ideas. So come on down to Sir Gildersleeve's free lance service on Business Mountain next to the Dermatologist. Boyle's got you down? Visit Dr. Smurlock's free lance service. Westdale's only free dermatologist on Business Mountain next to the Strange Armored Man. In 2020, it's a freelance world. Need a ride? Call an Uber. Need some food? Call Foodora. Sure, these sound like great ways to save time in your hectic day, but does it sometimes feel like you're too busy to actually use these services? No more with the launch of Usury. That's right, it's Usury, the gig economy service where you hire someone to use your other gig economy services. I wish I could call an Uber, but I'm just too busy. Think again. With Usury, you can outsource your Uber rides to a precarious worker. That sounds too good to be true. Yeah, I'm here to take your Uber for you. Where do you need me to go? Anywhere. Thanks, Usury. I wish I had time to eat my DoorDash food, but I'm just too swamped. Not with Usury, you're not. Yeah, I'm here to eat your chicken chow mein. Usury, you're a lifesaver. We sure are. I'm <coughs> pretty good. <coughs> Soy sauce. <coughs> That's right, it's Usury, the app for when you're too busy to use your other apps. The latest degradation from Westdale App Developers. Westdale App Developers, that's us! The City of Westdale is hiring several freelance roles. We are thrilled to offer minimum wage and zero benefits for these amazing opportunities. Window washer, junior administrative assistant, administrative assistant, social media coordinator, doctor, police chief, mayor. Please sign up in the Westdale app to apply. And if you know anyone who can create a transit system or fire department for cheap, that'd be really great too. The work will be awarded to the lowest bidder. Westdale, race for the bottom, together. Welcome back to Planet Office. It is now the end of the day and time to check up on a hard-working freelancer. Ah, fuck. It is 11 o'clock p.m. Fuck, 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 fuck. Our freelance writer has typed 17 words in her list of things to do in Burlington. Ah. The piece was due last week. No. As were all the other pieces on her to-do list. 
What did I even do all day? Her emails are full of anxiety-inducing messages from editors. I'm the worst. If she'd listened to me, she wouldn't be in this predicament. But instead, she's brewing a fresh pot of coffee, just as most people are going to bed. I'll pull one all-nighter, clear my to-do list, start fresh tomorrow. Ever the optimist, our freelancer finds renewed energy for... <sighs> ah. Well. I see. Join us tomorrow on Planet Office for another day exactly like this one. And the last one. And the one before that. And the one. Coming to your radio set on CHAM, Westdale's 11th finest station. Come on, man, get up. I can't, man. You gotta get up, man, you gotta. No, you go on without me. Two citizens in trouble? Give me my phone. This looks like a job for... Fear not, good citizens. Gigman, loyal protector of the people of Westdale who have downloaded the Ubermensch app. Gigman, thank God you've come. What seems to be the problem, friend? We're super sleepy and we've got like a ton of studying to do. Go on. Can you do a Starbucks run for us, two venti soy lattes? Oh. Were you looking for DoorDash or one of those food apps? And not a superhero? Which is what I am? Oh yeah. Couple of DoorDashals here. Look, we'll give you like five stars. Uh, fine. Yes, Gigman. Just... So desperate for opportunities to help the people of Westdale. You guys want cinnamon or anything like that? What will Gigman's next adventure entail? Find out this winter on Cham Radio. Nutmeg, maybe? Chocolate curls? Ooh, in that case, I want vanilla curls. Those don't exist. Oh, man. <laughs> How the H are you? Welcome to How the H Are You, where we answer listener questions about the world of jobs and work. Mike in Etobicoke asks, when did people start wearing overalls? Overalls were invented by Hillbilly Jim in 1984 in order to defeat the nefarious King Kong Bundy. Sam, not all of the world's great inventions occurred in the 1980s World Wrestling Federation. Wrong again, Janet. Okay, who invented the Tesla coil? Bushwhacker Butch? It was Tesla, you moron. Tesla invented the Tesla coil. Bushwhacker Luke? Overalls were documented as a garment of American slaves in the late 18th century and were mass produced by Levi Strauss about a century later. Wow, Levi Strauss wrote Tris Topic and invented the overalls? What a guy. Not Claude Levi Strauss, knucklehead. The man who first mass produced jeans. The name you're looking for is Mean Jeans Okerlund. What am I doing with my life? Hope that answers your question, Mike. Sorry Janet is dumb and says dumb things. Can't be helped, she's real dumb. <sighs> Let's ask the people on the street what they think. You there, when do people start wearing overalls? It was on a Tuesday. No wait, a Thursday. Ma'am, when did people start wearing overalls? You got your underpants. Your overalls? Check out my new invention, the in-between jacket. That sucks, lady. I'm a misogynist now. Punk rocker, tell us, when were overalls invented? Overalls were invented by the dead Kennedys in their song California Uber Alice, which translates to California overalls. California overalls. California overalls. 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 You're traveling through another dimension of work. A dimension not of decent pay and stability, but of precarity. A journey into a desperate life of exploitation whose boundaries are that of the greediest corporate CEO. This is the Toilet Zone. We join a young woman driving for a ride-sharing app called Lyft. Little does she realize her quiet life is about to become a nightmare. Thanks for riding with Lyft! 
Say, have I driven you before? Psh, no. I took a dump in the back seat, loser. Have fun cleaning that up. Oh, no, not again. Anyway, I guess all Lyft passengers start to look and act the same after a while. Okay, so her life is already a nightmare. But it's about to become a nightmare in the spooky sense. Hi, ride for Corey? Yeah, shut up and drive. So anyway, I said to her- You know, you look just like the last guy I drove. I said, shut up, bro. So anyway, I told my old lady, you gotta lose that surgery oh, weight he's or I'm taking off. And she's like, stop being a jerk. And I'm like, <sighs> they're always jerk. on the phone. And anyway, I go out with the boys to the club. Oh, there's this hottie boom body grinding up against well, me. Well, here we are. Thanks for riding with Lyft. Get bent, fatty. Huh. And he took a dump in the back seat, just like the last guy. Oh, well. Time for my next pickup. Hi, ride for... Corey? Wait... You again? Shut up and drive. So listen, I'm at the gym and some dude's like, bro, you're so swole. And I'm like, yeah, I'm yoked, man. And he's but like, I just gave you a ride. Um, there goes your tip, weirdo. Nah, man, I was talking to my driver. So I'm like, dude, bro, it's sick, man. Man, it's sick. I swear, I just gave a ride to someone who looked just like you. Dude, let me out. You're harshing my vibes, bro. Oh, no. And I took a dump in the back seat, loser. Are all alpha dude bros and lifts the same person? I know, I'll do a lift pool and pick up multiple riders. They can't all be the same guy. Hi, ride for... Corey? Yeah, shut up and drive. So I'm like, dude, bro, it's sick, man. Man, it's sick, dude, bro, bro, it's Hi, sick, dude. Hi, ride bro, for... Dude. Corey? Yeah, shut up and drive. Move over, bro. Hop in, bro. So listen, I'm at the gym and some dude's like, Oh my god. Ride for Corey? Again? Yeah, shut up and drive. Bros, move over, dudes. Buckle up, bro. bro? So anyway, no, man. No, they're all the same. Fucking unbearable gym bros. You can't escape them. Why won't they stop? No! Oh, dude, there goes her tip. Uh, help me. Looks like she needs medical attention, bro. Yeah, bro, too bad she doesn't have benefits, loser. Hey, let's take a dump in the back seat and bail. All right. <laughs> Good idea, bro. Nice dump, bro. Yes, for this driver, every gig is a nightmare in the toilet zone. Today on Work It, we're talking about the gig economy. Yep, we sure are. Well, go on. Do your lines. I didn't have time to write any. Oh, come on. Not to worry, not to worry. I've been taking improv. Um, can I get a suggestion from the audience of a place you're likely to find uh, the gig economy? How about you, ma'am? For the listeners, Sam is looking at me as if I'm not the only other person here on the radio show. I heard radio show. Great. Uh, well, another day at the radio show with my guest, Jack Nicholson. I'd like a plain omelet, no potatoes on the plate, a cup of coffee. What the fuck? Sam, you had one fucking job and you can't even do that right? Well, I'm sorry. I'm barely scraping by thanks to a little something called the gig economy. I'm on goddamn Foodora delivering goddamn Happy Meals to Westdale's goddamn corpulent elite. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm cat-sitting a cantankerous woman's even more cantankerous feline on TaskRabbit while writing someone's dissertation on Fiverr. Ever tried citing Derrida with a claw on your eyeball? It ain't pretty. Enough's enough. It's a gig economy world, Janet. It's high time we were on the winning end of it. Yeah. Let's use one of these godforsaken apps to hire some gig workers to do work it for us. We're three episodes into the season here, and we deserve another extended break. We sure do, Sam. Okay. Needed. Two creative people to write, perform, edit, radio show for audience of dozens. Dozens? For audience of dozens. No pay, actually costs money, some exposure, though mostly just to your Facebook friends who feel embarrassed for you. That'll do it. 
Now we just sit back and wait for the gig economy to do its thing. One gig economy doing its thing later. Thank you for applying. Grum. Thank you for applying, Grum. And you too, uh. Grum. Also, Grum. His son, me, Grum. Junior. Well, Grum and uh, Grum Junior. This is the mixing board, and here's the record button, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for taking over, Work It. If you need anything, just ping us on Slack. Slack? What is? Is app Grom like as Giffy. 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 This is the right decision. Later, Groms. What do? Comedy scene. Ah, me hit you head. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, the beach for some much-needed R&R. You there! Another round of cheap hooch and a coconut, please! What's that? Oh, nothing. Just an invoice for Grum and Grum Jr. Oh, no, 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 no! What's the matter, Sam? Janet, they invoiced us for $15! I don't have that kind of money! This is the gig economy! Do they think we're rich or something? What are we gonna do? Uh, robbery! Janet, did you pack our ski masks? No. And how about our Colt M4 carbines? Did you pack those? No. So I guess robbery's off the table, isn't it? Well, I don't see you coming up with any ideas. I've got it. Look, we hired gig economy workers to do our show, right? Think how much we could make hiring out our own radio services. Exactly. Now, let's find some other radio shows we can do as gig workers. Ooh, how about this one? Here's one. Oh, this one looks good. Ooh, this one looks perfect. Up next, sport talk. Ball foot? Football! That it hit you time. Ow, ow, ow! You're back with Penalty Box on CFMU, where we're taking your calls. Line one, you're on the air. Do the Leafs need to trade for a solid D man? Look, if you can get yourself a man with a solid D, you make that trade, know what I mean? Uh... I mean it's... D it's the CFMU Countdown with DJ Sammy Smooth playing the hits. Now then, where's my playlist? Here we go. Most requested songs of November 20. This must be it. I don't need to read the first two digits of that year. Number 10. What the? Oh no, hang on. 1920. Oh God, I grabbed the wrong playlist. Think, Sam, think. Um, that's right, friends. It's Carl Fenton's orchestra with a new remix from Post Malone. Now I'm jumping out of bed. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. You're listening to CFMU Morning Zoo. I'm Janet Stern, and this little freak is Sam the Diaper Boy. How's it going, Stern? Uh, Sam, what stinks? Yeah, it's my diapers. What are you gonna do? Hey, Sam, show us your tits, would ya? Whoa, get a load of those hunkers. Sam, Janet. Yes, Grum? CFMU let you go. Work it. No funny. No funny at all. Well, we tried. Sayonara, Grums. Forgetting something? Fifteen dollar something? I've got it here. Somewhere. Run, Janet, run! I grab! I hit! Ow, 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 ow. ow. This winter on Cham Radio. <laughs> I've got a plan to conquer this city once and for all. But diabolical, man. What will we do about the freelance superhero Gigman? Everyone has his Ubermensch app. I know just what to do. Could it be? Never fear, good citizens of... Wait just a minute! Diabolical Man! The most diabolical man in all of Westdale! Thank you for joining my little party, Gig Man! And your nefarious accomplice, Accomplice Man! How's it going, eh? Gig Man, we are going to take over this city! Never! And you're going to help! What makes you think I would ever help you, my mortal enemy? I have hired you through your very own app. If you wish to receive payment, you must help me. 
Zounds! And I'm so short on rent for my bachelor suite of solitude! Will Gigman escape the clutches of Diabolical Man? Will his 4.8 star rating remain intact? Can you get me a latte too? It'll cost extra, you know. Find out this winter! Uh, assuming production resumes. These are unpredictable times. There it is, folks. Episode 35 of Work It in the can. We hope you'll rate us five stars at at WorkItPod on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If our rating on any one of our gig economy apps dips at all, we'll starve and die. So unless you're one of the uber strategists or lawyers in VP-elect Harris's immediate family, maybe you'll show some compassion for working podcasters like us. Mastering by Alex Gilson, SpookyMag.com.